Hey, this is Jay. Happy Zur Day. Happy Friday. How in the world are you guys doing? Zur is at the reef, not at the tower this time. He's over here on the right-hand side, and we'll take a look at what he has to offer this week. And I'll tell you whether or not I think you should end up picking up these items. But, uh, oh, look at that. It's got the Telesto. So I think some of you guys are going to be happy. I know uh, everybody loves to complain about what Zur has. But some of you guys, I think, are going to be happy that he has that. But we'll go through these. And I'll let you know, like I said, whether or not I think you should pick this up. So first up, we've got the Ruin Wings. If you are a PvE player, pick it up. Heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. So for that simple perk alone, I love these bad boys. So I'd uh, definitely pick this up if you don't have it. Increased discipline strength. Don't really care about that. Uh, increased grenade throw distance. Don't really care about that. Bonus grenade energy on melee hits. I like that. Uh, increase the reload speed of hand cannons. And increase the reload speed of machine guns there. Uh, so yeah, if you're a PvE player, definitely pick up these. They can uh, come in handy, especially in certain raids and uh, certain things like that. But Skyburner's Annex this is, of course, for Hunter Class. And I don't actually have this, so I'm going to pick this up. Uh, heavy weapon kills have a chance to create orbs. Orbs collected when your super is full have a chance to grant special ammo. So I like that for that perk alone. Uh, definitely going to pick that up if you're a PvE player. And then I uh, don't really care about those because those can change. But gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. And gain bonus super energy from heavy weapon kills on minions of darkness. Gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups. So I like that. So I'm going to definitely pick this up. I'd recommend getting this if you don't have this for the Hunter class. Um, I do like the Shade Step perk that the other one gives you. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pick this up right now. As you can see, I am getting low on Strange Coins. Uh, we've got the Stag Helmet though. Uh, this is a good PvP helmet to get if you're a Warlock once per life. Your supercharge is faster when your teammates are dead. And you have a chance to respawn with an Overshield. So I like that for PvP. Increased Discipline. Increased strength. Don't really care about those stats. Don't really like them. Gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. I like that. Gain bonus super energy from heavy weapon kills on minions of darkness. And shield starts recovery immediately after an orb pickup. So that can come in handy and help you out in both uh, PvE and PvP. So I'd recommend getting this if you are a PvP player. If you're a trials player, uh, this helmet can be pretty darn good. And then, of course, we've got the Telesto. So I think the first time he sold this, right? Uh, has he sold it before? I can't remember him selling this. Uh, but fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed void blast. So think uh, Needler from Halo. If you ever played Halo, that's what this gun reminds me of. Smart Drift Control, uh, CQB Ballistics, <clears throat> and Smooth Ballistics are the first tier perks you can get. And we've got... Battle Runner kills with this weapon grant a brief bonus to Sprint's top speed. Uh, speaking of top speed, when held agility, enhanced battery, and flared magwell. And then the last perk, you get Harbinger Spark, multi kills with the weapon, spawn orbs for your allies. So if you don't have this weapon, go ahead and pick it up. It has come in handy in a few nightfalls that I've done. It's done some work. Um, it's kind of a fun, different type of weapon overall so i'd definitely recommend getting it if you don't have it already all right then we've got the legacy ingram these are of course for special weapons for year one versions if you don't have a year one special one and you want to pick this up and complete your collection or you want to buy the year two version after you get the year one version go ahead and spend 31 coins i wouldn't recommend it uh for any other case but if that's the case, go ahead and do that. But uh, needlers or the needles will allow you to reload, for instance, this discipline and strength on the stag if you pick that up, or any exotic armor piece. So that's how that works. And then we've got strange um, three of coins, not strange coins, for seven strange coins. Basically, it gives you an increased chance to get an exotic drop when you fight in a big boss or something like that. Now, this says stackable, but I've never used these. I've never stacked them. I've always used them one at a time. I don't think the effect that you get when you stack them is worth it. But uh, we've got uh, upgrades for your Sparrow there and the uh, uh, heavy ammo cakes that you can buy. And then, of course, two strange coins can give you one mode of life. But that is what Zer has to offer. Pretty decent week. Uh, let me know if you're picking up anything. Make sure you check out my 
father-son knife haul that I did with my son, me and Big E took on the saber shank, two-manned it all the way. I was pretty impressed that we got it done. I didn't think we would, especially that first war set. We didn't glitch it uh, or try to get in the rock or anything like that. So if you hadn't watched that video, make sure you check it out. Also, have another supply drop video from Black Ops 3. Got uh, an epic camo in that. So if you want to see which one I got, also got some legendary items. Go ahead and check out that video. And if you're low on strange coins, I probably need to watch that video myself. Uh, explain in that video how you can pick up some more so check out those videos let me know what you guys think about this man hope you guys have an awesome weekend i have nothing planned for this weekend to tell you about uh, if you have something cool planned let me know what you're going to be doing this weekend but i'm probably just going to jump on some black ops 3 a little bit and uh, try to play with some of you guys uh, the new interface with the xbox one is a little bit different right now so i'm having trouble finding people that have followed me and I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Plus, my notifications are a little whack right now. But uh, definitely going to try to follow or find some people this weekend to play with. And, of course, play with my friends. But that's where I'm going to end this video, man. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. As always, take care and God bless.